Hey guys, and welcome back to another weekly vlog. Uh, it's Monday. It was Monday night. <laughs> I have not vlogged all day today because someone's been hungover. Um, yeah, not good. It was weird. It's like not been a usual hangover. It's been like, I mean, I haven't had like bad hangovers for ages, but today's one was more of like, I felt so drunk in my head still as in like the room was a bit spinny and she felt very light-headed i also woke up with a really sore throat i've still got a little bit now which is very strange um because i feel like fine in myself and i felt fine in myself for days i could be going to the gym and stuff i don't feel run down but i don't know very odd um but yeah been hung over today and i've literally laid in bed all day on and off sleeping with both the dogs Luna and Shadow bless them they've kept me company um I had some lunch Robin's like proper looked after me today um he's been to the shop he got me a can of coke and ice pole he made my lunch and yeah it's like five o'clock and I'm feeling loads better um but to be fair like today I actually did enjoy just being in bed because I haven't actually just chilled not being on my phone and just had a day off for ages so it's actually been weirdly kind of nice even though i hate being hungover but yeah it's kind of nice i kind of liked it so i was meant to do a bit of work today it's back holiday monday by the way I was meant to do a bit of work today but i thought do you know what i'm just gonna do it tomorrow do it wednesday or whatever before i go away but yeah oh yeah i'm going away so i am going to guernsey for a wedding on thursday which is super exciting so i'm putting the dogs into the kennels wednesday and yeah we're going to the guernsey so really really fun so we're going thursday friday saturday come back sunday and oh my god fingers crossed touch wood it all goes to plan but i'm also doing something on sunday which if it happens could be the title of this video actually so you, you probably already know but i'm going to see craig david and he's been kind enough to give me and my friends tickets to go see him and apparently we're meant to be meeting him so i frigging hope we are going to meet him yeah but i basically fly back from guernsey on sunday and i land at three and his concert starts at half four yeah it's kind of fine it's kind of fine but touch wood it all goes to plan and nothing fucks up for me but i am very unlucky with stuff like this but fingers crossed it's all okay and i can see craig on sunday and i get to meet him oh my god I'm like, ah. uh, obviously i will take you guys along um but yeah exciting week ahead for now though i'm gonna sort my life out because i'm going for dinner tonight i'm gonna get out of the house and actually do something today morning guys oh just filmed a video testing out l'oreal makeup mascaras but i'm not feeling too good today to be honest i've got really light tickly throat it's a bit of a stuffy nose feel like i'm getting ill which is so annoying because i was pretty ill recently not that long ago to be honest like what a month month and a half ago i was really ill and um now i feel like i'm gonna be ill again it's so annoying because i'm going away why is it i'm getting ill when i'm going away um i was fine all last week but obviously went out drinking not good um but yeah just filmed a video i need to edit now i've got loads to do today and my road has been closed off because they are doing work to it so i'm waiting for some deliveries today and i just really think the the parcel people are just not going to drive down my road because obviously they can't get down it but like park at the end and walk to my house to give me my parcel i just think they're not going to do it um which is really annoying because it's closed the next three days and i need stuff before i go away stressful but yeah i need to go to the post office my car's on the new house at the moment so that's fine so i've got somewhere to park for now but yeah oh i've got lots to do today and when you feel ill it's just not great and yesterday i'm just gutted because yesterday i was in bed all day with a hangover and i hate hate doing that but then at the same time i was like do you know what it's good for me to just chill uh, but actually i've got loads of work to do and i kind of wish i had yesterday but what can you do so just come to the new house to see what the builders have been getting up to today and this is what they've been doing so that there is kind of like acting as our bifold door and then we've got brick going all the way around and then that's going to be a window over the back looks like they've done like a lot today this is like the cool bit now mm. and then we're actually stood up high here let me just get down 
So this here will be our patio and then Robin stood up there and there'll be steps going up to the garden because otherwise it'll cost so much to dig out all of that. So yeah, we're gonna have steps. And the bifold doors will be here. It's so muddy because it rained. Got the insulation. Yeah, looks good. Oh, guys, I can't breathe. My belly yell. It's not good. I think I'm gonna go have a bath. Watch some Netflix in the bath and go to sleep because, yeah. For like, yeah, it's not good. It's not good. <laughs> I don't like being ill. Morning guys, it is now Wednesday and I'm dyeing my hair. Oh my God, I'm going purple. Um, I've used crazy color on this. It's definitely come out a lot more darker than I thought it was gonna be. Um, yeah, wow. Interesting. We'll see what it looks like when I wash it out. Guys, this is my new hair. What do we think? Oh my God, I'm loving it. I really like the purple. Wow, it looks so cute. I like it. So nice. Ooh, hello. Also, I cannot wait to wear lime green with my purple hair because honestly, I'm loving that color combination at the moment. It's so, so nice. So yeah, what do we think, guys? Tutorial is maybe up already or coming soon. Not quite sure. Maybe up already. Maybe up already. I might get it up already. I might get it live. I might go live with it already. So it might already be up on my channel. If so, link below. These goodies just arrived from IGK Hair. They are called FOMO and it's basically holographic mousse, like hair mousse. It's like hair foam. Oh my God. Let's have a look at it. Guys, can we see that sparkle? Oh my god, it's so cool. Look at that one. Both are amazing, but I'm loving this light bluey purpley one. So cool, cannot wait to give them a go. Perfect for festivals. Also got sent the Laura Mercier Rouge Essential Silky Cream Lipstick Collection. Oh my lord, so many shades. The packaging is so lush. Love this shade as well. Some really fabulous goodies there, which is amazing. So thank you so much to everyone who sent me those. I am taking the dogs to the kennels today because we're off to Guernsey, well me and Robin, off to Guernsey tomorrow for a wedding, which is really exciting. It's actually nearly been a year from mine and Robin's wedding on June the 9th last year, which is mental. Like, I don't know how it's gone that quick. Um, but yeah, we're going to our friend's wedding in Guernsey, leaving tomorrow, coming back Sunday. So obviously I'm going to take you lot with me, but the dogs need to go to the kennel, so I need to drop them off in about an hour or so. Um, and then, yeah, then I need to run some errands. I need to pack as well, because when I get back on Sunday, I'm going to see Craig David. Whoop, whoop. And then the next day I go to Ibiza. So this light, it's like so hectic. Um, so I need to pack two different suitcases. So on Sunday, because I'm literally not going to have any time to repack another one, I can kind of just like transfer like my toiletries, my makeup and stuff over and hopefully like I'll be okay. But yeah, it's going to be a late night on Sunday. Um, yeah, I'm going to go put some warm clothes on that because I'm a bit chilly. And the baby has some food and then take the dogs to the kennels. <laughs> I'm going to miss it. Oh, dogs are dropped at the kennels now and I've just finished editing my hair dye video that I filmed earlier. Feeling a little bit tired and fragile, but I'm just going to keep getting on with my day because I've got so much to do. Um, I am going to Ibiza next week after Guernsey and I'm going with In The Style, which is super exciting. Um, they're launching another collaboration with an influencer. I don't think I can actually reveal anything yet. Um, but yeah, so exciting. So they've just sent me some clothing, so I need to pack a suitcase for Ibiza now and pack a suitcase for Guernsey. I'm annoyed though because I bought some new clothes for Guernsey to shoot whilst I was out there and basically they've not been delivered. Um, yeah. Frustrating, but I'm gonna try and figure out what else I can wear when I'm out there. It should be fine. Um, yeah, I need to pack now. So I just paused on packing for my trips away because I've come to the new house to see the progress. So amazing. So they've been doing a little bit more brickwork on the outside here. It's got a little bit higher than it was yesterday. And now they've done the inner wall 
and that should basically be the height of our of our room I reckon roughly so yeah but the flooring is going to come up to that brick there and then I think there's another row of bricks on top or something but yeah it's looking really really good <gasps> so exciting oh god what's going on with my hair uh I've just sort of packed um my Ibiza suitcase so I've got lots of bits in here but I'm not going to show you anything until I get there oh no I need to pack my suitcase for Guernsey oh <sighs> Oh, second suitcase now packed. <sighs> I look like a mess. I need to go sit down now. I need to upload an Instagram and just chill because honestly, it is cold. My back is killing me as well. Morning, guys. It is now Thursday and we're just finishing packing. I uh, had to go to the new house this morning because we had a delivery of bricks and stuff for the kitchen extension. So our build is still continuing today. Um, it's looking great though. Uh, but yeah, we're just finishing packing because we're heading to Guernsey today for a wedding. The wedding's not till Saturday, but we're heading there today. And um, yeah, we've got a few little things planned of what we're going to do with all the wedding people um, before their actual big day. So yeah, super exciting. So we're going to finish packing and then head to the airport. We're flying from Stansted, so super close to us. It's only like a half an hour drive. I'm going to pick up our friends on the way. Oh, we are just doing the finishing touches to our suitcase making sure we've got everything going through our little list robin's just gonna grab his toothbrush he always forgets that and uh yeah we're gonna head to pick up our mates now and head to stanford airport so let's get going oh so we got delayed for an hour not too bad i guess but we're just about to board our propeller plane can you see it fun times i've gotten it before yeah uh it's an interesting one. Uh, a bit nervous, trying to not think about it. The stairs are in the door, it's mental, but yeah. Um, <laughs> we're getting on that. listen listen not a thing that I can get from you. We've just landed the propeller plane, took us all the way. And I'm uh, just heading into the airport now. I'm gonna get our luggage and go to our Airbnb, which some of our friends are already there and they said it's unreal. So I'm so excited to see. Yeah. Uh, bougie house in Guernsey. It's like a little glass box. <laughs> That's our bedroom up there. Oh my god, it looks so nice. Just got a house tour. What's in here? Oh, little toilet room. Okay. And then I think this, oh yeah, this is the kids' bedroom. So I don't think any of us are going to be sleeping in there because, well, if someone gets a little bit too drunk, they can. Okay, let me turn the camera around. We've got a dining area here. Is this a bedroom in here? Oh, with an ensuite. This is so nice. I love the windows everywhere. Then we come into here, we've got another bedroom, ensuite bathroom. This is cute and looks onto the garden. And then everyone's in here, but we've got the living area. Sorry. You're in the vlog apps. <laughs> <laughs> How nice is this sofa and the kitchen. So nice. Right, are we going up? Oh my God, look at these stairs. Lead the way, Robin. Oh, these are cute. Oh, let's get on top then. Shut up. What the fuck is this? Oh, this is Sorry, excuse my language. This is like a pad. I didn't remember it was just a bedroom. Oh, after party in the sand. <laughs> this is so cool. Look at the view. So cool. <gasps> this is ridiculous. I thought it was just a bedroom up here. I didn't realize it was like this. It's like a studio. Oh my god. <laughs> this is hilarious. It's so nice. And apparently a TV comes out of the bed. Oh, yeah. Yep, we love it. Is ever got an ensuite as well? Yeah. <sighs> oh, it's like an office in here. And then, oh my God, look at that bath. Yes. So nice. So we've just had fish and chips in Kobo from fish and chip shop there. And we sat down there on the beach tried to watch the sunset but um yeah a bit too cloudy but it's super cute and 
Now we're waiting for a cab home. I'm absolutely freezing. Took a towel and everything to sit on the beach, but I've actually just ended up wrapping it around me. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna head back to our Airbnb and chill. Also not good because I've got a really bad cold and I'm freezing. Morning guys, it's now Friday and as you can tell from my voice, I am still quite ill. I feel like going to the beach last night and being in the cold has just made it completely worse. Probably shouldn't have done that and just stayed in in the warm, but yeah, not good. Um, we're going out again today. We're doing like a little beachy walk again. Uh, I'm gonna wrap up, I think, today. I think it's actually not too bad outside. It's just a bit cloudy. Um, but I'm gonna wear a jumper and stuff. Uh, I've got up, done my makeup. I actually went to bed early last night. Everyone else was downstairs partying, but I was like, I can't. Like, I was losing my voice. And so I thought I'm just gonna go to bed because, yeah, I wanna be well enough for tomorrow, which is actually the wedding day. And obviously, I be there next week. So, yeah, just very fragile right now. I'm all dressed and ready for the day. We're going for a beach walk. A bit glam and stylish for it. But um, yeah, I don't really know what sort of walk it is. I've only got my DMs, so uh, hopefully that's okay. But yeah, we had some breakfast. I had bacon and egg butty. And I had gluten-free roll because I'm trying my new FODMAP IBS diet. Um, yeah, my tummy doesn't really... I probably ate like, what, half an hour ago? My tummy feels fine. Um, I mean, I've got issues at the moment anyway, but I haven't had, I don't feel like I can feel it in my stomach after eating it. So yeah, maybe this whole gluten-free bread thing is probably gonna help. It says it in the FODMAP app that I've got. Um, but yeah, we're you going to be, huh? I'm, you do you mean like my stomach or yeah. just ill? No. Uh, I've, I have noticed that sometimes after I've eaten, I've not got like pains. Oh, that's good. So I do think like when I had Domino's the other day, I had gluten free yeah. and normally the next it's day, the next day if I'm hungover, I also have really bad excruciating pains in my stomach, yeah. didn't have any belly pains. Oh, that's good. So maybe it is, that. maybe it is. yeah, it's interesting. So I'm going to just see how it go for like just a month. Going. Yeah. yeah, trying to just, well, I'm trying to be, I'm more aware of what I'm eating now so I can like monitor it a bit better and it's really handy having the app. You literally just type in the food, like a type of food like bread or what or like orange juice or whatever like that and it tells you like don't eat it or don't drink it la la um but yeah so we're heading to the aquarium now and then we're walking to fermain bay um i feel like i've been there before because so i came to Guernsey years and years ago with one of my uni friends <coughs> and i feel like i went there before but i'm not entirely sure but yeah we we shall see, but it's um, the sun's slowly coming out, so hopefully it's going to warm up a little bit. How amazing is this view? I literally feel like I'm on holiday. So beautiful, and we're about to do a walk, and we're going to go up those steps there, and basically follow the coast around. And I think it's about like an hour, hour and a half for a little walk. Um, but yeah, it's it's actually a really nice day now. Nice and breezy. Um, so yeah, I'm ready for this hike and hopefully it sorts my illness out. Hopefully I feel better afterwards, a bit of fresh air. How can I tell you what I wanna do? I never needed you to give me So we just had a nice little hour or so in Fairmain Bay. My voice went, but it's slowly coming back. I had a hot milk and honey. It's quite good. Um, but as you can see and hear, from my breathing, I'm walking up a hill and we're walking back. It's so hot, it's so sunny. I mean, it's an amazing day, but yeah, whew, this walk is good. And I've only been to the gym a few weeks, my fitness is not up to good standards yet. Oh, so we are back home now in our Airbnb and we're making a little buffet for Din Din's. We're spending the night in our Airbnb tonight because the wedding's tomorrow. And um, yeah, I think we're gonna watch Britain's Got Talent and have a bit of an early one because it's gonna be a long, long day tomorrow because I think they get married at 11, it's quite early. And then we've got to get the ferry to Herm. Thank you very much, what's in this? A bit of Prosecco, Prosecco soda, soda, lime, mint, lime, mint and elderflower. 
Mmm. Oh, that's really nice. Look at this sunset. How nice is this? And we're on our balcony. Yeah. So guys, I'm in bed now. Um, I had a really nice day today. We spent the evening in our Airbnb, I had some dinner, watched Brains Got Talent, and it was just like proper chilled. Um, also, I've just hit 1 million followers on Instagram. Yeah. I'm not entirely sure how to feel. It's very weird. I never ever thought I would ever hit numbers like that. Um, yeah, it's mental. It's crazy. Like, when I look at my profile now, I'm like, that's not my profile. Like, that, I don't know, it's just so weird, it's so weird. Thank you so much to whoever follows me on Instagram, um, and who is following my journey. Um, but yeah, I can't quite get my head around it at the moment. Yeah. Don't really know what to say. Hmm, interesting. I'm going to go sleep now wedding day tomorrow which is really exciting and the weather is going to be amazing and I've got a long sleeve sequin dress probably didn't think that one through did I you can see it there actually can't wait to show you matches my hair morning guys it is now Saturday still ill you can tell by my voice I'm just trying to have some vitamin C tablets to uh, help me today I'm um Currently doing my makeup, had a shower, washed my hair. My hair's faded so much already just from one wash. But I quite like the colour now, it's got like more lilac key, which is the colour that I was kind of aiming for. Um do my makeup, I've done glitter liner. I've used the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Gold Glitter Liner. I've got Muse lashes on from Bold Face Makeup. And yeah, I'm just doing my brows using the Lime Crime Bushy Brow Pen. Match the hair. And um yeah, Robin's headed off because he is an usher for the wedding. So he's gone now to meet the groom and get ready. And then it's just us other halves left. Getting ready in the Airbnb. We head off to the wedding. It's crazy. It's come around so quick. But the weather is literally amazing. So they've got so lucky. Apparently this has like the, been the best day in Guernsey for this whole year. So they've got so lucky, like literally pure blue sky. So, so good. Yeah, I'm finished getting ready now. Right guys, my hair is now done. Just gone for a slick back look. And I've just put on, well I need to put some gel on actually. I feel like this stuff's not going to stick all day. And, um, yeah. This is my makeup. I just need to do a lip and jewellery outfit. But, yeah, I'll show you that in a minute. I'm going to have some breakfast first. All right, guys. I'm all ready for a wedding. Ta-da! My dress matches my hair. There it is. Um, yeah, I've got this dress from Lavish Alice. It is this amazing midi sequin dress. Um, I'm hoping I don't sweat today uh, with its long sleeve. But it's quite well it's a little bit baggy on top should have done something with it but it's fine and yeah this is my makeup it's my outfit let's go for a Guernsey wedding so excited oh my god <laughs> So me and Amber are leading the whole wedding party to the ferry. Uh, the wedding was so beautiful, it was lovely. And the weather is, oh my God, it's amazing. And we're all walking to the, get the ferry to a little island called Herm. I think it's about 20 minutes. I've been there before actually a few years ago. And um, yeah, we're going to the White House for the reception. 
filming Here we come. Cohane's wedding. Hold tight. Cause you're the only thing that I can't lose. I never needed you to give me things. I never needed you to diamond rings. All I ever need, I need, I All I ever need is here with you. Morning guys, so it's now Sunday, still ill, can you tell from my voice? Um, had a lovely, lovely day yesterday at our friend's wedding. The weather was literally absolutely insane. Um, it was amazing all day. Uh, Robin fell over last night though. Look at his knee. Um, he's got like a massive, massive gash because basically we had to get the ferry back to Guernsey and the last ferry was at 10.45 and um, it's not like lit up or anything and it's quite dangerous like the walk to get to the ferry there's like steep steps and loads of like kind of like rocks just in the pathway and um, basically we were late and we were running and I was like shall we run we probably shouldn't run should we and then Robin just stacked it and literally landed right on his knee not good um, doesn't look great does it but yeah, it'll be fine. But we're going home today. I'm gonna go to the airport in a sec, head home, and then literally as soon as we land, driving back to Culture Star and going to see Craig David. So fingers crossed the flight is not delayed. Um, but yeah, had a really, really lovely time in Guernsey for our friend's wedding. So, so beautiful. Home is such a nice little place, and I would actually would consider going back there and staying at the White House Hotel where they got married because it's. It was quite like secluded so nice, and it was so nice wasn't it and like mm. if you just want like a little kind of mini weekend break or something in the sunshine yeah you don't want to go too far it literally felt like we were in spain yeah. like it was 26 degrees yesterday the weather today though is not as nice it's very cloudy but yeah i would highly recommend so i've just landed back in the uk now we're hopping in the car driving as fast as i can not really i'm just going to drive normally and um yeah, driving straight to Craig David. Our flight was delayed, which is really annoying, but I think I will hopefully make it in time to see him and meet him, hopefully. So, yeah, it's all it's all happening today. And I've just landed and just go straight to a concert. It's ridiculous. So, I've made it back to Colchester and with the girls. We're coming for you, Craig. And they're so cute, they got me a little one million balloon for hitting a million on Instagram. And they got me some flowers. Some so pretty. And um, yeah, we've just had food, some drinks, and we are going to head in to see Craig David. I think Sagala and Reggie Miller are supporting, and it starts probably in like 15 minutes or something. And um, yeah, we've got a couple of tickets, and yeah, hopefully we get to meet Craig. Who knows? Here's the girls. I've lost my voice. And we're waiting for Craig David. And um, we've got confirmation that we are going to meet him. I'm not actually meant to have my camera in this little uh, gig, so I'm going to keep it short and sweet. I'm going to try and vlog on my phone, so some of the footage might be a bit naff. But, um, yeah. <laughs>
Excuse this whole mess here. Um, I hate to sort my life out. But I just got back from seeing Craig David in Colchester, and oh my god, like he was so good. I love, love seeing him. He's honestly amazing on stage, such an amazing singer. And yeah, I had such a fun night with the girls celebrating me hitting a million on Instagram. And I met Craig David. I met Craig David. I don't think you realise how amazing that is. And also, I have to say, like, he honestly is the nicest, most genuine guy ever. Like, I wasn't really sure what to expect and I got very, very nervous. But we literally just sat down, We it's very casual, we had a little chat, I obviously spoke about the wedding and uh, my hen party and he could, he remembers seeing like everything that we did with our Craig David masks and yeah, he even told us that we've been doing Craig David shots wrong, so he taught us the proper way, so now I actually know how to do a Craig David shot, um, it was so good so good bless him like what a nice guy for like taking the time out to sit down and meet us and chat to us and yeah really 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 good night so thank you so much craig um i'm now packing my next suitcase because i'm off to ibiza tomorrow yeah i'm gonna go to bed now shattered but honestly i had such a good night i'm gonna Insert some little pics of me and crying just to show you that I did actually meet him because you probably don't believe me. Um, such a good night. Uh, gonna go to bed now. Need to wake up early. I'm leaving at half twelve tomorrow, so I've got a bit of time in the morning just to finish off everything. I need to edit this week and vlog and stuff and schedule it in. But yeah, thanks so much for watching my vlog, guys. Really hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in my next one. Ready?